Sponsoring today's video, we have VIP GVG Mall, an official platform selling games for several PC launchers, consoles and of course Microsoft serial keys like The Office 2019 or the most common Windows 10 Pro, where you can use my SKG discount code and enjoy 20% off, making it only $14. After getting the key, you'll have the key in your profile and all you need to do is go to your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. My dog, what's good with you? Hey, Damio, Damio. Yeah, I'll see you around wet. Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video, AMD just released the AMD Ryzen processors 5 years later and we have some news. We finally know, uh, at least we know for sure, which CPUs will be the last ones on the AM4 socket. Okay, so the last CPUs that will use DDR4 and will be on the AM4 socket, which includes basically every motherboard with Ryzen that you have now from the A320 uh, to the X570 with lots of them in between like the B450 and the B550 alongside others, okay? So let's start at uh, six minutes and a half and we can actually see what they are what they are saying in terms of the next generation CPUs, okay? And how it will be. Quite a bit of talk about new technologies for the platform mm -hmm. that can surround a processor like Ryzen right now as we sit here. Can you tell us anything about what to expect in next generation platform technology sure. for Ryzen and maybe when? We're at the end of socket AM4's force life. I, I don't think that's you know a huge huge secret, uh, but it served us incredibly well. Four years, five years almost. It is not the uh, huge and secret. And it started thing. with a pre Zen product actually. It was like four cores, four threads, low speed DDR4, PCI Gen 3, yeah. only eight lanes. So basically, the AM4 platform started before Ryzen. So before we actually have the we actually uh, before we had the Ryzen CPUs, we already had the AM4 platform and like he said, uh, low IPC, only four cores, DDR something, let's just hear again. Four cores, four threads, low speed DDR4, PCI low Gen 3, DDR4. only eight lanes, and now we're out, we are where we are. Everything has gone up by a factor of like 4x, but all platforms must move on. So in 2022, Ryzen will have a new platform and some key ingredients are DDR5, PCI Express Gen 5, and cooler compatibility with existing socket AM4 coolers. So this is a really, really important thing. So we will have a new platform like we know with DDR5, which is the Zen 4, Zen 4, AM5, and DDR5. But the cooler compatibility is exactly the same. So if you have, for example, a cooler for your Ryzen system using the AM4 socket, you will be able to use your cooler still exactly the same without a need to to buy anything, anything else, you can just go and put your cooler in your new motherboard, which is really, really nice. This industry moves in cycles, IP cycles, core cycles, and they're all lining up for a next-gen platform. So I've seen the rumors, you have too, yeah. saying that next-gen platform will only have Gen 4. No, 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 it'll have Gen 5, because Ryzen has made a name for itself. The new, new wait, 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 wait. So. The next platform will not only have Gen 4, but will have Gen 5. That means PCI Express 5. I was hoping for PCI Express 4, of course, but PCI Express 5 may be in the future. And maybe this is what is saying that it will have PCI Express 5, but not at least right now, because the next generation will be released in the end of 2022. New platform coming 2022. That's right. Um, newest you know, high-speed memory standards, That's right. newest I.O. standards, mm -hmm. um, but bringing forward the, that big cooler ecosystem That's right. into it. Okay, that's fantastic. End of the day, people want to know, is AMD building a, a, a platform with all the latest and greatest technology to plug into? Yeah, yes. Now, um, I do want to follow up on one thing you said. So AM4, mm -hmm. which, of course, you know, as you mentioned, even precedes Zen, with how it was brought, or precedes Ryzen, how, how it was brought to market. Um, there are still new technologies and products to come, though, for, for AM4. Absolutely. So, for example, at Computex 2021, we showed 3D chiplet technology. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I even made a we'll video about this. 3D chiplet technology come to rise and when, its relationship to AM4. Yeah, so 3D vCache is kind of like an average 15% performance bump for games, kind of by design, 
games love memory. So there will be a Ryzen product in early 2022 that goes into Socket AM4. With so three- basically in early 2022, maybe let's say like up to March, maybe up to March, we will have the new Ryzen's with the 3DB cache, which can bring up to 25% performance with an average of 15% performance increase, which is a lot. So 15% performance just by having the cache is a lot because games do love cash and some other applications of course but it is a big jump so it is a jump worthy of a new generation and we have it just with 3db cash so imagine what zen 4 will bring with the dr5 um with the 3db cash as well higher ipc higher frequencies better pipeline uh, design and so on things will be crazy things will be crazy 3D Vcash. I think there's a lot of speculation about that, but yeah, that's that's what's happening. And then, um, you know, further out in time, you've got that Zen 4 product also later in 2022, new platform, new technologies. It's like a nice, nice steady drum beat of new stuff. Um, so let me just underscore that for a second. We, for all those AM4 customers, you know, tens of millions of them worldwide. That's right. Um, the, 3D chiplet technology, specifically Vcash, is coming to rise. That's right. I'm assuming on the Zen 3 based products that we have today, but that's like a generational uplift yeah. in gaming performance. Like Zen 2 to Zen 3 was like a 19% IPC uplift, and there was a, a larger than that contribution from games, all things being equal. 3D Vcash is like that. Exactly, it's a 15% like I said. on average gaming improvement without touching frequency or architecture or any of it. Like just the existence of this thing is a generational leap in performance. Okay, so we've, we've been talking about this theme of the things that you can put um, around the core and, mm. and, and how the core is packaged would be a good example of yeah. uh, 3D chiplet. Features in the platform would be an example of you know, where we go next with the platform. What about other fixed function hardware choices that we might make, sort of that, that Zen philosophy balance of what else we want to add to bring better experiences. Mm-hmm. So now they will talk about the, the cores and so on, so on, so on. Very interesting. But well, for now you can see the, you can watch the rest of the video that is, that has the link in the description uh, or go to the AMD uh, YouTube channel and you will be able to watch the video. For now, as you see, and as you saw in this video, we know that the last CPU series that will be presented or that will fit the AM4 socket will indeed be the, the next Ryzen generation. I don't know if they will call it Ryzen 5000 something like they did, for example, with the 3000 series XT, which were the extreme versions, the better bin versions. I don't know if they will call it that or since it brings um, or since it brings a performance uplift worthy of a new generation, I think they will call it Ryzen 6000 and maybe the Ryzen 7000 will be the ones with the DDR5, PCI Express 5 and so on, so on, so on. But yeah, basically that's it. That will be, those will be the, the last products on the AMD4 socket. And in the end of 2022, we will then have the AM5 socket. Basically that's it, Ryzen 7000 for the end of 2022 and the last AMD CPUs for AM4 socket Ryzen 6000, I assume, will be uh, up to March 2022, I assume. They said early 22, so it seems like it. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. And see you in the next one.